Welcome back. In this problem, we are going to solve the VDSS and also the loading dose. Do it step by step. And now, now the first step is to find out K21. This is the equation for K21. A times beta plus B times alpha divided by A plus B. Okay. So now, what is A? The A intercept value is 44.33 plus the beta it is a 0 0.21 plus what is B intercept? 15.08, right? 15.08 times the alpha value which is 1.74 1.74 divided by a plus b a plus b hmm just now we solved for a plus b right that is nothing but cp not that is 59.41 the value of 0 0.61 over hour or you can call it an hour inverse okay the next step is we have to solve for k10 okay so we have the values alpha times beta which is 1.74 times the beta value is 0 0.21 divided by 0 0.6 if you solve for this one you'll get a value of 0 0.61 our inverse again so it's 0 0.61 okay, the final step is to solve for k12 okay k12 it's a pretty straightforward equation it's alpha plus beta it's alpha is 1.74 plus 0.21 minus k21 that is 0.6 minus 0.612 or 61 for k10 if you solve for this one you will get a value of 0.74 our inverse okay now that we know k21 k12 k10 the next step is to solve for the before we calculate the clearance total we need to find out the vc volume of distribution of the central compartment let's do that so volume of distribution for the central compartment is dose over cp naught okay i hope you remember the concept if you want to measure a concentration Concentration is nothing but dose divided by volume, right? If you want to measure concentration in a beaker which is having 100 ml of water and 100 milligrams of drug, divide the amount with volume, right? That's what we did. Dose divided by volume. So dose is what? 1000 milligrams divided by CP0. We calculated that is 59.41. Okay. If you solve for this one, you'll get a value of 16.83. Okay. 16.83. K12 is how much? 0.74. All right. So why we calculated VC? Because we want to calculate clearance total. Let's calculate clearance total now. Total clearance is what? K10 times VC. K10 is how much? 0.61 times VC is how much? 16.83. If you solve for this one, you'll get a value of 10.3 liters per hour. By the way, units for clearance is liters per hour. Okay. Okay, now that we know the clearance total and also the VC, let's calculate the VT, which is the final step for our VDSS. A is equal to VC times K1 to 2 divided by K2 to 1. Okay, you know the VC is 16.83 times K1 to 2 is how much? K1 to 2 is 0 0.74 divided by K2 to 1, that's 0 0.6 okay if you solve for this we'll get a vt of 20.81 approximately 20.81 okay so vt is 20.81 so vds is, is nothing but a total of vc plus vt guys so let's do that vc plus vt vdss is equal to vc plus vt 16.83 plus 20.81 is equal to 37.64 okay now that we got a vc hmm, what is the next step next from the final step i should say almost final loading dose is equal to concentration at steady states times volume of distribution at steady state right so concentration at steady state how much you know the hypothetical value which i gave is 20 microgram per ml so times vdss is how much 37.64 if you solve for this one, you'll get a value of 752 milligrams. Let's solve some more problems. Okay, now that we know the clearance total, we cleared everything. Loading dose is 752. And we can calculate the T half of a beta phase and T half of alpha phase. They're pretty straightforward, right? So let's calculate T half of beta phase now. 
it's a 0 0.693 by the we're calculating beta right so beta value uh, how much is that beta is 0 0.21 okay if you solve for this one t half of the beta will be 3.29 hours same thing for the t half of alpha it's 0 0.693 divided by alpha is it's 1.74 you solve for this one you'll get a value of 0.4 hours okay what else we are left with calculated beta phase uh t half beta phase and t half alpha phase we calculated loading dose for if css is 20 microgram and we had to calculate area under the curve right auc hmm, this is the final one clearance is equal to dose over auc right remember this formula we know the clearance total just now we calculated earlier what is that is it's 10.34 uh, let's enter it here 10.34 and what is the dose that is we know that is 1000 milligrams right dose is 1000 and divided by clearance 10.30 you will get a value for the uc that is 97.13 this is the dose and this is a clearance because auc is equal to what dose or clearance right okay this is all we have and